So next up is IGPS. Joel's big question yesterday, what are schools for? Big question for our group. What are meaningful assessments of the learning that goes on in schools? Our big idea, connect those two questions, don't divide them. If schools are for individual development, if they're for collaborative effort, if they're to serve the public good, then assessments should reflect those goals. Their form should follow function. Assessments should be embedded in instruction. It should be shaped by teachers and students. It should be focused on soft and critical skills. And it should use the Action Colab model. <laughs> so we've developed a product for each student to be able to have this on their desk and students can give each other awards based on their creativity, citizenship, communication. And what we've done is this product is something can either be in a desk or put into a binder. It's gonna have uh, things on the side that it can help stand up or you can fold up. And then each kid is gonna have their individual coins so they can, tokens that they can put into each slot. We said token because we don't want it to be a currency type situation. Um, and basically the, the instructions, guidelines, or type of thing would be the learner would get 20 tokens and a board or a plastic sheet for their binder, um, must give at least five tokens a week to someone else based on the skills, the critical thinking, uh, critical skills and soft skills, and must provide a reason for giving the token and fill the column on the board advanced levels. And students use a help token if they're stuck and they're, they're not getting any tokens for creativity or collaboration, they can put a help token in. So someone can come and help them out. Um, and tokens are not added. A student's tokens stay in circulation, um, encouraging learners to help one another. And the whole process is that these tokens will be going towards uh, a project, like a community service project, for example, that they might be doing. So an example of a collaborative project would be for students to design a solution to a problem in their community. Students then research, collect data, and decide maybe that they want to clean up their community. So then they design, deliver, present, evaluate, and during each of these steps, they're assessed by teachers and other students with the critical skills in mind. And the outcome is, uh, one of the things that our, our product does, it helps connect so-called soft goals with more traditional goals. So for example, if built into whatever the project is, there is a empathy citizenship uh, building skill or um, something similar to that, then over time as projects are tracked, we think that we can show that, that say empathy and citizenship and or creativity are linked to an increase in average daily attendance for say K-12 or retention in, uh, in, at the community college level and then use those data points um, to um, show that soft skills should be included as part of what uh, regular skill assessment and used to also raise funds because um, average daily attendance and retention are important factors um, um, in K-12 and, and community ed level, I mean community college level. Thank you. Let me ask you a couple of questions. Uh, can I ask you, uh, does this mean no more report cards? No, this is just to give kids a voice in the and uh, a voice in the system and peer-to-peer -peer acknowledgement of good work. Uh, what I find so interesting about this is it's surprisingly low tech because so much of the stuff we're seeing these days is high tech. Why did you guys decide to go that route? Because it's affordable for each student. It's ease in manufacture, easy to give out, and we see it having big impact at a low in a in a low package, in a small package, I'm sorry. <laughs> Great, well thank you so much, I appreciate it.